Hello, my name is Konstantin. This is final project uh, for CS231A lane detection using Fourier based light detector. The problem setup is a detection of the road lane boundaries. I decided to replicate existing paper which was written by Rachmel uh, Demin Shi and Richard Comley. Uh, my motivation beside uh, that I will receive zero credits if I will not uh, finish this project, uh, my motivation is based on uh, two things. Um, Fourier transform is one of the equations that change the world. You can see it from this uh, table, 70 equations that change the world. Uh, my motivation is also pick up a random transform from medical imaging and apply it to computer vision problem. So, uh, the random transform uh, guys from medicine uh, solve tomography problem uh, and also the problem of magnetic resonance imaging can also be solved uh, via similar approach, like a random transform. Uh, the paper number one, uh, which I re-implemented, uh, mostly use uh, two previous work, uh, works uh, number nine and number 13. Uh, I, I can say that in the decision work uh, there are a lot of algorithms, but it, there are a lot of there are a lot of cross-references. So if I want to understand something, uh, the original author sent me to another paper, this paper sent me to another paper, and in my final report I will try uh, to be as complete as possible and self-contained as possible. Also, no source code have been provided and linked to test data set in which authors tested their solution is not a lie for me. Uh, uh, the key thing is this uh, blue uh, rectangle, multi-layer fractional Fourier transform. Uh, it's a new approach uh, to find uh, edges, lines. Um, uh, the previous works, in the work number nine, uh, the edges uh, uh, was detected via edge detection, can, via can edge detector, uh, standard hope transform. Uh, and peak detection to determine the potential candidates to be aligned. Uh, in the work number 13, the step of edge detection uh, have been replaced. So uh, uh, instead of canny edge detector, they uh, use new adaptive thresholding algorithm. Uh, it's and also and all uh, of this uh, is because a hub transform input is a binary image. Uh, so we need to. to to do something with a grayscale image. I'll demonstrate your pipeline by example. So I take test input from public available data set Kitty. I select region of interest. It's a region in which I'm interested in it. So forget uh, about anything else, but concentrate on this region. Then we use temporal blurry to uh, average frames. Uh, we needed to connect these uh, white uh, stripes. Uh, because it originally has some gaps. And now, after blurring, we have a blurred image, but also we connect uh, it, uh, our lines, our, our stripes. Uh, the third thing is that uh, we, we don't want to work in a perspective camera model where the parallel lines go into a vanishing point, but we want to change our camera uh, to look uh, from the top as a bird and uh, look not only via not only via perspective camera model but uh, via orthogonal uh, so uh, okay so uh, after uh, after uh, after this transformation uh, we will receive this so uh, uh, in this uh, region of interest uh, we fetched these pixels and then we change camera model so I, I have implemented it by myself uh, because I haven't found any implementation in the internet. Uh, so it was faster to implement it by myself. Uh, about Radon Transform. Radon Transform is an operator which operates under the function. Uh, and so it, 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 uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a function of the line. So it, uh, uh, you pass a line into it, and then it, evalu it evaluates integral over the function of two variables uh, in its domain over the, the line. Uh, Radon transform has deep interconnection with Fourier transform. The main problem with numerical calculation of Radon transform is how to create polar grid uh, from Cartesian grid. So we have uh, 
integer lattice and we know uh, the value uh, in this uh, grid uh, here but we want to know the values in a polar grid. Our uh, uh, MATLAB contains a default implementation of a redundant form. If we use it for this input image we will uh, see something like this and it looks like synagram for half voting but redundant form and half voting is a for, as I understand, complete different things, completely different, uh, completely different um, algorithms. Half transform input is a binary image. Uh, for a don't transform input is intensity image with real values. Um, for a don't transform high quantization doesn't have any downsides. For grid size parameter for half voting is rather it is rather hard to find hyperparameter because uh, this problem of Grid size uh, for half voting, so it's yeah, so it it should be tuned for half voting and for radon transform it's not. Uh, radon transform via radon transform via evaluate integral of the function of a line. In half voting, we for each point in original space uh, show models in parameter space in this such that this point is belong to this model. So. The setup is completely different. Um, secondary, uh, multi-layer fractional Fourier transform. Uh, the fractional uh, means that uh, the original discrete Fourier transform uh, have been designed for finite functions. Uh, you have a finite function of the sample values, so you can count this, so 10, in, 10 samples, 20 samples, uh, but fractional Fourier transform uh, give a generalization that uh, we can have uh, values between integer points. It is all, all about discrete Fourier transform. Uh, Multi-layer here means that uh, we have a uh, in integer lattice, uh, integer grid, but now we uh, create several grids of different sizes. We just have original grid, then a uh, compress it, uh, stretch it, and uh, take a, a, another grid and then union, him, uh, union them all and have uh, something like this. So, beautiful picture. Uh, about this uh, picture uh, from bird's eye of view of our region of interest, if we evaluate or don't transform, we will receive this. Uh, the one X show uh, the angle, the normal to the line, uh, so the angle between x, x and the normal to the line and secondary is the distance to the origin the values is uh, how much uh, so how much uh, so the value of this interval so it was encoded in a in a z uh, then we can find peaks of this uh, scenogram of this function and uh, select this uh, peaks um, then uh, in the original paper, uh, the authors uh, said that we can uh, sample via these green lines. We just find an intersection and uh, find these points. Uh, it was used for extra improvements. Uh, so we have at these points. We use template matching for extra distinction lane stripes from noise. Also, we use a run sack uh, for remove outliers in this set of points. Uh, and use final linear square estimation to fit a line. All pipeline uh, and extra nodes and normal things have been implemented by me. Uh, during a grade in math functional operators, I use MATLAB implementation as a reference point to have a baseline because I need to implement a special uh, case of a don't transform, special case of a discrete Fourier transform. So I need to, uh, in some sense, in such some situation, uh, they are equally, uh, so uh, new radon transform and a standard radon transform from MATLAB to both uh, when we don't use these uh, different lattices, uh, this stretched and uh, so it's, uh, if we don't use it and we use only integer lattice then it will be the same. Uh, I think humans, so my conclusion is in that, I think humans can compete with neural networks only via finding interesting things and functional analysis. It's impossible to beat a computer in a hyperparameter so finding.
uh, I hope to port this work into C++. Also, during written references, I have seen that for him, based methods can also be used for finding shift, rotate, scale, and variant features. So it's all thank you. <laughs>